Good morning, Thursday morning, heading now to Herzliya to meet with one of the powerhouses of the VC community here in Israel, Tal Bar Noach. He's an old friend, seriously good guy, just catching up with him. And then I have a conference call with Facebook to talk about a new initiative that they're doing. They asked me for some feedback on it, so I think it's going to be like 20 people from the team globally on the call. Excited for that. And then lunch with Yaniv Golan from Lul Ventures. Then doing a talk to some Nordic startups. I believe they're ag tech startups, agriculture tech startups. Talking to them about PR, media, and I believe the talk is framed how global startups can get as much press as Israeli startups. A couple other meetings throughout the day and then the weekend. It's going to be a fantastic day. Here we go. like 15 minutes to spare. I'm going to meet Tal Barnoch, who I originally met many years ago when he came to a company I was working with to negotiate an M&A deal. He's kind of the guy who's behind the scenes in many of the acquisitions of Israeli companies, and then he turned VC. But I'm really just here to catch up with him, and maybe I'll get him on camera. He's, he's an interesting dude, very, very smart guy, very well respected, and a good friend. Pumped to catch up with him. By the Ackerstein Towers, where 50 to 75% of the country's VCs are located. Also, it's a beautiful, beautiful day here in Herzliya. You know, yesterday I, I did a, a long interview with Alan Feld, who I've been trying to get on camera for five years. Every time I ask, like, ah, I don't want to go on camera, I don't want to go on camera. Tal Bernal is another person I've never done an interview with. Alan Feld is a great guy. Alan Feld is like something else. He's a phenomenon, I, I, right? I love him. Everyone, that's what everyone says, you know, that's the I thing with Alan. Okay, so the truth is, we've known each other for a long time. We talked about it before that the first time we met was at Interactive, which was my first job in tech, really. Ziva Lul, my mentor and rabbi. Ziva Lul. Ziv is the king. He's a king. Uh, we met there. And you know what I said to you before is what I also said on the vlog is, is when there are things that go down in this country, like sometimes highly confidential M&A deals that you don't hear about till afterwards, there's usually somebody in the back of the room there orchestrating, pulling all the strings, and that's Tal Bar Noach. Or that's the way it used to be. But now you've gone over to the dark side. I am. All right, so tell me in 30 seconds, who is Tal Bar Noach? Background, give me, the, give me the backstory here. What's your what's your background? Background. Professionally, personally, who is, who is Tal Bar Noach? Founder, entrepreneur for most of my uh, career. I didn't, I didn't even know that, you know that? Where, you, what, was it, what was your company? Uh, Oka, the Tommy, Bean Sync, and a few others. I love how I le learn new things about people. <laughs> then I decided to be an angel investor. Right. So did a few investments as an angel investor, mm -hmm. and uh, <clears throat> four and a half years ago moved to the dark side and started disruptive as an early stage fund. <clears throat> the name I think is uh, basically saying what I'm looking for: disruption in the market, yep. where people can uh, consume product in different way and this is what I'm doing. So I'm, I'm a little bit embarrassed that, I mean I've been following, I'm a big fan, good friend, but I didn't, I, I probably should have done my research before the meeting and looked at your portfolio because you named some of the companies you've invested in and they're like, like Anodot, I, I, he's like, are you serious? You didn't know? Anodot's amazing. They were on the vlog. I did a thing on them. They're an ama amazing company. Give me some other, give me some other names you invested in over the years. Taylor Brands, Quilt, Beamer. Beamer, uh, Beamer is a super interesting. Beamer is like the, um, what's the name of the, uh, Pied Piper. Right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Iron Source, I Do More, Iron Source is the third biggest ad advertising company in the world after Facebook and Google. Beat, true? Lumen. Lumen, uh, fascinating company. And, and so on. It's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. Thank I, you. I, I mean, you're doing something very right, obviously. Uh, you having a good time, though? I enjoy it a lot. Uh, that's uh, that's the most important thing. I enjoy thing. it. This is the most important thing. And um, so... I, yeah, I'm always saying that I'm meeting young entrepreneurs much smarter than me, and they come to get my advice. What can you get more than that? Welcome to my life. <laughs> I, you know what my criteria... What can you ask for more? My criteria for meetings, I always say this as a joke, but I actually mean it, is I want to be the dumbest one around the table. <laughs> if everyone around the table is smarter than me, then I'm happy. I, you know, in fact, when I work with companies, I don't talk about this very often, but what are the criteria I look for? And I know some of this has become a cliche, already, but I need good people. I've worked with people that I love the technology. They rubbed me the wrong way and I regretted it. So good people, one, 
but equally important or more important, I need to be able to and be in an environment where I'm growing, where yeah. I'm learning. If I'm just yeah. there and staying flat, then I'm not happy. I agree. Right? And so, yeah, uh, you know, you, when you say that the entrepreneurs who come here are smarter than you, I'm going to push back on that. But in my case, they're for sure smarter than me. And I don't know, till today, I don't know why they come to me. But in any case, if someone's watching this right now and they're an entrepreneur or early stage, like, give me your quote unquote elevator pitch of what you're looking for. First, really, is the team, the people. So find your uh, co-founders, make sure that you, that you understand that you are going for a long ride. It's 10 to 15 years, and it's, you, you're going to get married uh, a few times. Once with one you, you chose your uh, co-founders, then when you choose your investors, be ready for a long ride and to work with, the, with, with all of those guys. Very close. Then make sure that you know exactly what you want to achieve. You have a big vision. You're solving a huge problem. You know that when the product is going to be out, you will have product market fit. Think about the go-to-market and how you're going to sell your product. And if all of that uh, you think that you know how to solve, come see Tal. We, we, we need to talk. <laughs> I love it. If, uh, if there's someone watching, they want to get you know, their deck to you, what's the best way to do that? Do you have a place, like is it on the website or just send you an email, send me an email, I'll put, pass it to you? You and me is the same. Send you email, send me email, you it's want, easy. You want to give people your email? Tal at DisruptiveVC.com. Tal, T-A-L at DisruptiveVC.com. Send easy. them your deck. But first, for the, this is, I'm such a pet peeve of mine. First, please do your research, right? Look at what Tal's invested in. Look what he's not invested in. If you have, you know, a, if you're building a social network, don't bother. Like, it's just not relevant. Like, look, because I'm telling you, people call me and they're like, hey, Hill, I want you to, I'm like, did I, did I ever do that thing? Like, why didn't you spend 30 seconds Googling and see what I do and see if it's relevant? You know, like, it drives me crazy. I had a call yesterday. I, this is another pet peeve. I talk about how to make an introduction. Right. Speak to both sides. Give the right context. If both sides want to connect, make an intro. Someone literally made an intro. And, and by the way, I love the person. I hope she's not offended here. I love the person who made the intro. But she made an intro, and I get on the phone with this person, and she's like, "So," and she starts pitching me on which, and I'm like, and I literally stop. I'm like, "What can I do for you? Like, what are we talking about? What's the context? What are we talking about?" And she's like, I don't know, how could you help me? I'm like, why don't you do your research and come tell me how I can help you? Like, are you kidding me right now? Anyway, I, I'm very, I'm, because in our world, we're making 3,000 intros a day. And you, it has to be efficient. It has to be done right. But right. anyway, listen, Tal, we should, uh, we should do this more often. Next time, maybe over steak. Are you a steak guy? Yes, but you're taking someone else to steak today. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, I just, I'm going to give a shout out. Yaniv Golan. Did you see the rap? He's the legend. Did you see the <laughs> I said on Facebook this morning, he's a powerhouse. And he needs a legend. They're both like, why am I not a legend? Why am I not a Did you see? Did you see his rap video? Did no. you watch it? Watch it. It's hysterical. Really? Yeah. By the way, Yaniv Golan, I'm, I'm going to him for lunch right now. Honestly, I am blown away by that guy. He is such a smart dude. Like, the only, <laughs> I shouldn't say this on camera, but the only the only thing I've learned over the years is, in addition to everything else, is don't talk, I shouldn't talk to Yaniv Golan about politics. <laughs> Not a good idea, but. Really? Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't get me started on that. We, we're like opposite. Like, guys, uh, I'm telling you one thing. <laughs> Go to vote on September 17. Go, I don't care who you're going to vote for. Just make sure that you vote for Kaholavan. <laughs> <laughs> we can talk about this for We'll do this in our next meeting. I, I, I apologize that I have to run, but I'm going to do this, yeah, sure. this uh, conference called Facebook. But Thanks listen, for Tal, coming. Appreciate it. Do me one favor. If there's any, I mean, you know this, but I'm going to say it again. If there's ever anything I could do to help, honestly, like anything. I mean, your companies, you want me to meet any of your companies? For sure. If they need help with, with marketing, social, what? this is like easy stuff. But like press, anything I can do to help. And any, I, I don't know if you do any press. I know you're, you're not exactly, you don't like being in the flashlight, no, in the spotlight. Yeah. But it might, it might help your companies if you get a little more. You, you will, and I'm going to make an intro. No, but also Tabernacle should be a, a little bit more. People should know you a little bit more. A little bit. You don't have to be like, you know, fold. A little <laughs> bit. A little bit. You know, Tal, this was fantastic as always. You, buddy. Thank you, my Thank friend. You. Thanks. Thanks. I am jumping on this call with Facebook in 10 minutes, parked here at Google campus. They hooked me up with parking and uh, just got to set up a quiet room, strong internet connection. It's a video call and the CEO of Facebook Israel is going to be on the call. So I got to, you know, be all professional and stuff. video call. The irony that I'm doing a conference call with Facebook from Google doesn't escape me. All right, I'm turning this thing off, getting set up. The Marta hooks me up with parking. What's up? Look, look how it tracks me. It's, it's tracking my face. You see what it's doing here? It's tracking my face. How are you? I want to say yes, I understand, but I still don't look at the understand. Green, look at the green light. Look at the green, the green box around my face. You don't see? Watch. Oh, yeah. Watch, I'm moving okay. my face. 
It's following okay. me. Marta, what do you do here at Google? I'm the marketing manager here at Google for Startups Campus. Basically, you run the show. You're the CEO. Definitely not, but <laughs> I do my best. And if you're an early stage founder who needs a space to sit and a community to be supporting you, uh, it's very lonely at the beginning stages. And the best thing you can do is have a community. And we have monthly VC mentoring. Next week, we're going to have Maverick Ventures here. I love Maverick Ventures. And we have the. Known as a man. And we have Raphael, who is the co-founder and president of Walk Me here next month. Rafi's the man too. Yes, we're just opening up applications for women of startup nation. How do people read more? What's the website? Quick. Campus.co/tel Aviv. Beautiful. I got to run to my next meeting. Always, a, always a blast. Always. Thanks. Real quick, because I'm running to my next meeting in the Hilton to do a talk, but I'm sitting with this dashingly handsome man, Yaniv Golan. Well, I think, and I say this to anyone who mentions your name, I think he's one of the smartest men in the venture community in Israel. That's what I think. That's what I think. You don't have to hate me for it. I agree. <laughs> he's, also, he's also dashingly handsome. All right, tell me, what's your story? What's your fun? Who's Yaniv Golan? Talk to me real quick. So, I'm from Little Ventures, as I hope that uh, you know by now. Uh, I don't know. You've been on the vlog many times already. Really Several like, times. We really like, really like investing in amazing awesome early stage entrepreneurs doing things that are meaningful that want to change the world and create a better world that's also sometimes a criteria for investing and you know i think that's the that's the gist of it and you're a rock star partner of ichai who i love oh yeah and your I team like is ridiculous and you guys, guys also saw the amazing video that they just, went they just released a rap video i'll yeah. post it i mean avichai myself were just uh, basically put Cross. there yeah, because Max uh, did all the, the amazing creative work. Shout out to Max. Who else is on your, how, many, how big is your team, by the way, today? So we're six people. Six people. Um, cool. There's a, a guy, myself, and uh, Max, and Nito, and uh, Tony, and uh, Nico. Oh, Tony, I forgot about Tony. I love Tony. Okay, about he had Tony. Much, like, so he's amazing. Yeah. How big is the, how much money you have under management? In, under management, we have about 100 million. 100 million. Okay, and how many investments have you made today? Probably 27, I think. 27. And you guys have amazing rooftop events, which I can never come to. It never works out. I hate it. So tell me what time works for you. We'll do an event at that time. I, I, for me, night is family or else I never see my family. Right, so but I did bring my wife one time, remember? Yes, brought my wife. So we'll do a Hillel full morning event. I'll be there. Listen, dude, I got to run. Otherwise, I'd hang out with you three more hours. But listen, today doesn't count. It does not count. Because we were supposed to eat steak, but I was late. There's no parking. We're going to do it again. And we're going to lock it on the calendar, no moving. I, I want to tell anyone about the salad that you actually ate. It was really good salad, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, dude. Made it to the Hilton in Tel Aviv, my absolute favorite hotel in this city. Giving a talk in 10 minutes to some Danish startups about media and PR. But look at this beautiful hotel. Awesome day, incredible week. Next week, it's going to be a busy one. See you then.